Hey guys and welcome to a new video by Autofury. I am super excited to show you in this video the new BMW X7. Some of you may be wondering why we are doing this video in English. Well, this guy over here, the 50i, is not available in Germany but in the States. So let's start with the design at the front of the car and as you can see we have huge kidney over here. In fact it's the biggest kidney you will have ever seen on a BMW. Because we do have the M Sport exterior we also have a lot of black chrome and also black parts on the car. As you can see our car has the laser lights and yes we do have them in Germany too. In fact ours are even better than that of the States. Why? Because ours have a range of 600 meters and the laser light for the States have only 300 meters. We do have the 22 inch optional rims over here and also a lot of black details like in the front. Okay we do have black at the front, black at the side, guess what we also have a black at the back. As you can see over here a huge black part of the car actually. When you have a close look inside you also can see the four exhaust pipes. As you might know if you want to buy a X7 you have to choose between two options. First of all seven seats, second one six seats. Well, I recommend the six seats because they are a bit more comfy, especially the second row. But if you do choose the six seats, you have to remember you lose a bit of luggage compartment. Now, this is the reason why we're making this video, because of the engine of the X7 xDrive 50i. It's the one we Europeans can't get and we were wondering, are we missing out on something? So this is the 4.4 V8 by turbo with 460 something horsepower you find the exact figure below and 650 newton meters of torque it is actually as fast from 0 to 100 kph as the one we get the m50d which is 5.4 seconds and we have another gimmick that makes this one special we have the rear active steering <laughs> So first of all, there's the sound. So don't get me wrong, I like the sound of the inline six. However, the X7 cabin is so quiet and comfort that uh, you can't even really hear the inline six. So, which is actually what you want in an X7. Me personally, I like to know what's going on and uh, what's happening under my bonnet. And what's happening here, I can't hide. It's uh, really, really enjoyable. So we're just driving in comfort mode now, which makes the engine quieter than it's in sport. Also, the handling is more comfortable and this is actually what I personally gonna miss because we won't get the xDrive 50i only uh, possible M version, which will be not as comfortable as this one in comfort mode. And also not as subtle as this one and to me it's only natural to fit a big engine to a big car don't get me wrong the inline six is fine especially for us europeans but i kind of miss the v8 already because it will be different to the m version it will be not as aggressive so thereby more subtle but also kind of powerful when you want it to be but at the same time it's quiet nice and responsive as it needs to be and also in my personal opinion the responsiveness of the gearbox and everything is a bit quicker than in the xDrive 40i and for the optional rear wheel steering we got this makes the car more agile more dynamic in this kind of drives but it also makes it kind of smaller at low speeds with the turning cycle shrinking a bit and thereby making a over five meter long car driving like a I would say 4.8 meter car. Now let's get into sport mode and talk a bit about why I personally would take this one over the M version we might get. First of all now there's more noise and even more responsiveness and um, we get the M50D which has a lot more torque than this one however a diesel can never be as sporty as 
an inline six or a V8 gasoline engine. And thereby this one makes more sense to me, especially as we have now quite the discussion about diesel engines. However, for us Europeans, this car is, let's say, not economically correct because it has a big engine, it's not a diesel, so it will consume a lot of fuel. All in all, this engine is the one you need to get with the X7, especially when you live in the States. Unfortunately, when the Europeans can't get it. Why? Because it has a lot of power, it has a lot of torque, and um, it has a lot of kind of sporty ambition, but at the same time, it's also quite comfortable. And to sum it all up, I would say this is kind of the American way of life with a little bit of German touch. So in conclusion, are we Europeans missing out on the X-Drive 50i? I think so. And sadly, you guys in the States, you have the car we actually might want the most. Because I personally would choose this over any M version we might get in Europe. Okay, that's it guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below whether you like the new BMW X7 or not. And if you want to, you can subscribe to this channel. It would make me very happy. Hope to see you soon. Bye.